Let's very quickly do uh, Electric Boogaloo, the wild untold uh, story of Canon Films, which is the story of... Is that the title? Yeah, uh, Electric Boogaloo is the main title. The story of Golden Globes, who were the people behind uh, Canon Films. And basically, this is from the director who made Not Quite Hollywood, which was the film about Ozploitation, which was actually rather good, Mark Hartley. What this does is it looks at this pair... I mean, they, were, they, they loved movies so much so that they made as many of them as possible with very, very little quality control. And this sort of follows their careers through from the early sort of days of uh, Lemon Pop School huge Israeli hit through to Superman for the Quest of Peace which was a terrible disaster and has interviews with the likes of Toby Hooper who made Life Force and Texas Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 in this particular case Sybil Downing Alex Winter Dolph Lundgren recalling the highs and lows of the company it's very very sort of frenetically edited and at times I can see that that might become slightly wearing it is also eye-watering the amount of trash that is on screen it's a film which is sort of showing you all these sort of clips from movies which it, amazingly, it manages to make some of them look worse than I remember them being. I mean, the clips from Life Force, I remember having problems with Life Force, but seeing the clips, God, did it really look that bad? And it's also, uh, it's it's not... It's not that it's that it's uncritical. I mean, people people do talk about working for them was not perhaps the greatest possible experience. Although Franco Zeffirelli has rolled out to say they were the best producers he ever worked for because they were hands off, and of course, you know, they they were as with Roger Corman, they were working with people like John Cassavetes. You know, from exploitation sometimes comes great art. It's kind of a nerds geeks film. Great irony of it is that Golden Globes didn't didn't take a part in it, but the, what they did was they beat him to the punch with their own movie, the, the Go Go Boys, which told the story from their point of view. I enjoyed it and I laughed all the way through. It doesn't. It's not big on analysis, but it is big on junk movie clips that just make you go, oh wow.